Welcome everybody. Hello. Hello, hello. Good to see you. Welcome to our weekly Amazon Insider livestream each Wednesday. Um, my name is Eric. And I'm Mike. Yeah. Uh, well, again, we have technical difficulties. Uh, our chat oh, bot challenges. Our challenges. Yeah, challenges. Yeah. Our chatbot isn't our friend anymore. Anyway, that should be fixed uh, during this live stream. So today we're not going to talk about the gaming product, but about our, um, yeah, we call it pro monitors, commercial monitors, business monitors. It really depends how you look at them. Um, Even if you don't consider yourself a pro, you can still use them. Yeah, <laughs> and you know what this means, right? Uh-oh. Yeah, uh-oh. <laughs> We're going to take one apart. Uh, I, you know, I'm always interested in what's inside. Uh, so let's try to open one up and then see what we can discover, how the inside looks, and uh, and pray that it, uh, somebody can put it back together again, because normally we don't do that. <laughs> And that it isn't, it's still working, right? You'll probably ask it. <laughs> yeah, indeed. I always ask it. So uh, today, uh, for the first time, we're also live on LinkedIn. Uh, welcome, everybody. We're live on our MSI Global YouTube channel. So not our gaming channel, but our global YouTube channel. Uh, we will try to do that more in the future. But today, well, maybe things go wrong. Anyway, uh, we can see your comments uh, also from LinkedIn in, the, in, in our chat. So we are reading the, the questions you have. If you have any questions, just post them there. We will try to answer them. Um, so let's get started. You got some. giveaway, Michiel. Yeah, it's uh, right above you because no game codes today because no. we're not talking about gaming systems. But we do have a very nice giveaway where we give away several uh, Netflix codes. And depending on the region where you are, it will be either thir uh, 30 US dollar or 25 euros. And I think that translates to like three months. Well, it really depends, depends on, the, on what amounts yeah. are and what subscription you want. But uh, minimum one month, uh, probably two months. And if you're lucky, three months. Depends on the resolution you want. If you want the 4K version, I believe it is slightly more expensive than the 1080p version. Yeah, indeed, indeed. Okay, uh, let's maybe jump a little bit in our... Uh, can you maybe go to the PPT? Yes. Yeah, so um, these are our commercial products. We talked before about our all-in-one PCs or desktop PCs, and I'm not talking about gaming PCs, but for example, a QB. I have one here. Uh, DP21. It's well, nobody can see it, but it's also here. Uh, we will later use this. Um, I, I remember what you did to one of the QBs last time. Uh, it didn't survive, but <laughs> it can happen, right? <laughs> You're not going to use the screwdriver for QB today. No, right? no, no, no. <laughs> QB will be spare. And this one still works, so uh, QB it's is not safe the one this I time. Before. <laughs> um, and then, of course, we have uh, monitors. And uh, monitors, uh, there are a lot of different monitors. We have our high end uh, gaming monitors, also entry level gaming monitors. And you see a lot of typical specs over there, like uh, 4K, 360, uh, qu of, uh, what is it? Uh, Quantum Dot, uh, G Sync, uh, all those features, really typical. Uh, folks at gamers. Then we have our creator monitors. The creator monitors are more for content creators. So you talk about uh, color collaboration, uh, up to 5K resolution, um, IPS panels. Well, you also have them in gaming. So you know there is a lot of overlap, but there are also a lot of special fe features like the monitor hood in this segment. Uh, then we have the, uh, on the other hand, we have the uh, portable uh, monitor. I think at this moment we have a few models of them. Yep. Uh, more focused at gaming, uh, they're really small, thin, and light. Uh, ja was, uh, he took it home. <laughs> and when he <laughs> left them, he was, uh, should I bring that back? I said, yeah, I better do so. <laughs> um, and then today we're going to talk about the commercial monitors. So commercial monitors, um, there are not a lot of uh, uh, gadgets or not a lot of, uh, uh, of those gaming features you typically used from us. But we have some special features uh, for uh, uh, working from home, because that's quite important. I think everybody experienced the pandemic. Uh, a lot of people work from home. Mike, how many days do you work at home? No, Usually I should, for you, I should ask how many days are you at home? <laughs> <laughs> Usually uh, in a work week, two days and three days at the office. Yeah, yeah same for me, uh, yeah. but yeah, differs per day. Uh, it's, it's quite convenient working from home uh, because you don't have to drive to the office, but still, uh, yeah, there is a, a distance uh, from your colleagues, uh, so communication is very important. And now, uh, yeah, I don't want to say uh, post-pandemic because you see in several countries, it's again, you know, the, the, the infection rates are getting higher. Uh, some countries, they even never recovered. I should not laugh about that, but you know, it really differs per country. 
Um, and in, like in Europe, a lot of countries after the, the, the maybe the third wave uh, last year, uh, more companies are also offering the people to work at home by default uh, for certain uh, days in the week. Uh, so even if COVID would completely disappear, the working from home is not going to disappear probably. Yeah, indeed. At least for many companies. <laughs> I see 360, good, yes. 360 hertz, that's something totally different. Um, for example, uh, uh, RGB, that's also something we're not going to talk about today. So no extra FPS. No extra <laughs> FPS on these monitors, indeed. Um, so let me, uh, I want to highlight you a little bit because we have a lo always Cheers, a guys. lot of people complaining about our naming rule. And we do the same. Uh, we see your comments and of course we tell this to our uh, to our product managers to our product marketing people in ASU who manage these products and we discuss, we, we fight, we argue, we uh, try to convince them about making this simpler. We throw things at each other. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and it, it is very difficult uh, to be honest because there are so many uh, different uh, models and then revisions um, and then it's not a revision, you know, um, that something was wrong in the, uh, in the previous model. But just that we have a different panel from a different vendor and the other vendor, uh, the, the panel is not deliverable anymore. And then you need to tell that to your customers because uh, the product spec changes maybe a little bit. And uh, normally there are very small differences. But still, this can already um, uh, have an impact on the, the model name. So uh, let's go to the list. So we have three segments, uh, Summit, Modern and Pro. Summit is uh, focused at the content creations, at the high end. Modern, uh, they have uh, some more features. So Ja, for example, he did a live stream about our uh, monitor, uh, what was it, uh, MD272 monitor, which have, uh, for example, KVM uh, built in, um, Type-C with uh, 65 watt power delivery, those kind of features. And then we have our pro segment. So today we're talking about the pro segment. And you see the first letter is an M for monitor. Uh, the second letter is uh, from the segment. So we're still puzzled why D is modern. Well, it's in modern, but why not an N or why not an O? <laughs> anyway, um, <laughs> then uh, there is a, always a, 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 a three numbers, uh, 32, 27, 4, and then another number. So this is the size of the monitor, quite easy. So you already can easily recognize if it's a, like a 20, well, 24 inch, 22 we have as well, uh, 27, uh, 32 inch. And then the next number is the revision I was referring to. And the revision can be, yeah, there is something different. It's just a newer generation. Uh, doesn't have to be the panel. I just had a, as an example. This can, for example, also... Um, can also be the, yeah, the addition of, for example, the KVM switch or whatever. Yeah. So, uh, who was it? Uh, Merrick is saying this chart should be placed on the website. Yeah, maybe it should. The problem is that this is all, I mean, this is the rule. And you know what happens with rules? They get broken. <laughs> <laughs> and that is always, I, I remove some things here uh, because, not that I didn't agree, because they, they are facts, because I didn't want to confuse anybody. Um, maybe I will later tell you about it, because we have one model with an X, and the X is not included in this overview. As the Rockman says, drinking beer? <laughs> no. Troy was correct, it is monster. <laughs> yeah, so, um, and then after the number, we have uh, sometimes a C. The C is for curved monitor, so if there's no C, it's a flat monitor. Uh, then we have a U and a Q. If there's no C, the U and Q will follow after the three, uh, the three numbers. Um, U, 4K, Q, uh, 4040p. And then we have P and W. Uh, w is white, so this is actually also this actually also means that all monitors are black, except as a W, then it's white. Quite strange, right? Um, but probably in the first years, we only made black monitors. And that one moment, one moment, somebody said, shall we make a white one? Yeah, that's a good idea. But how to distinguish this in the marketing name? Let's add a W. Um, and then we have P. P is for the, uh, the, the stand, uh, the height adjust, uh, adjustment, and those kind of features. Later, we will talk about more detail. And then there are always exceptions. I think it's ultramarine here uh, with, with some special colors because <laughs> the ultramarine, it's like a blue monitor. Um, so black is like no edition, white is W. With yeah, ultramarine, yeah, you get yeah. the full name. That's nice. <laughs> so I think the most important here, uh, if you see a product name, because this, uh, if me personally, it always confuses me with um, uh, the other one, for example. Well, M is a uh, monitor. That's already uh, simple. Then you know the segment. Pro is the most uh, entry level, modern is mid-range, and Summit is high-end. Let's, I mean, 
let's just call it like that. Uh, then you have the size, size can differ per segment. Um, so I think those are most important. Well, maybe we can do a game at the office one time. So you get a, a, a name and you have to list the characteristics as fast as possible. I think many will fail. <laughs> Probably. Uh, like Ja already told you, we are working to improve these uh, model names, especially for the gaming monitors. And of course, this will be applied step by step. Uh, it's not a big change, but it will make things more easy. And yeah, hopefully you will see that maybe in the second half of the year, otherwise uh, 2023, um, which is next year. So Troy let's says, uh, curious Mike, do you have a cup holder in your PC setup? I used to. It was called an optical. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, indeed, it was called an optical drive. But nowadays, my computer is so small, I don't have space for an optical drive anymore. So I have to put my drinks on my desk. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so this is, uh, it's not really a roadmap because we have uh, more models coming up and I don't want to talk what's coming up in the, in the far future. I just listed the current assortment of monitors here. So let us start at the top summit. Uh, uh, I think Ja did already a live stream about this September 2021. So if you have interest in this model, you can go look back on YouTube. Uh, some typical features for this one, smart brightness, uh, color accuracy, uh, noise cancelling, uh, typical features for content creators, besides the spec, of course, we talked about 5K, etc. Then we have the modern segment. So modern segment, uh, Ja also did for two models. Actually, there are one, two, three, four models, maybe even. But he only had one model in the live stream. I think this was like in April somewhere, or March. We did a live stream about this. Um, uh, those have features like uh, power delivery, uh, Type-C, uh, KVM switch built in. So quite uh, convenient features. And then we have the pro segment, what we're going to talk today about. And uh, yeah, I put the features also in the segment below, the 24 inch, because it's, it's, I mean, not all monitors have all features. And this is based on, not only based on cost, but it can also be based on segmentation, can be based on uh, availability. I mean, we need to procure all those parts uh, in order to have a good, um, how do you say that? Um, a production line, uh, let's say like that. So if some parts, uh, like there's a shortage on a certain component, then you cannot put this in all models. You have to select a few models that you don't run out on those uh, components. So today uh, I highlight the models we're going to talk about. The MP, uh, let's say the full name is Pro, MP271C. Anybody in chat, what kind of monitor is it? 271, uh, MP271C. Maybe we should do the giveaway uh, based on these kind of questions, Mike. <laughs> well, that's easy win for me then, because the chat has a delay. I don't. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's true. <laughs> then we have another model, uh, which is the Pro M242C. Also that one, I would like to know what it is. And then the Pro MP241X. And um, yeah, I see already in the chat. Yeah, good. Uh, the, we have two curved ones, which are on the right side. Uh, 127, 124, and we have one flat one, a 24 inch. First generation, indeed. So it's a little bit confusing if you look at the 27. Uh, Brian was close, but he misses one thing. What? The C. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that one, the C, indeed, the curved. It's curved, yeah. yeah. So it's just a, a mix of uh, certain monitors. Um, any questions so far? Very good. Summit monitor, yeah. Oh yeah, and then at the, at the bottom we have still, a, what is it, the 22 inch or 21.5 inch, the Pro MP221. I'm not going to talk about that one today. Also want to uh, highlight this, uh, we have some action running or shout out action on a lot of products. Uh, this is the whole year running and I highlighted here the monitors. Uh, you can actually, this is uh, quite nice, uh, one of the gifts uh, you can... Uh, I think win, I think it's lucky draw, uh, is this kind of uh, modern monitor LED. Let me show it to you. I told Mike this morning, I saw this, I said, I want to put one in my bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, quite convenient. Oh, my notebook doesn't crash. Shouldn't draw too much power. That should be okay. It's LED. Yeah, LED. So, um, yeah, it's a, it's a LED, as you can see at the bottom. Uh, let me, uh, oh, 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 sorry, <laughs> everybody <laughs> blind at home. Uh, Everyone so who has an HDR screen is now blind. <laughs> yeah, there is some touch control on the top. Let me, let me show it like this. 
Yeah, I think this is okay. You can enable it. There is a slider. Um, oh, I you switched it off, I think. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so the, the, you can arrange the intensity and um, yeah, how to do this. Mike, can you go to full screen? Uh, yes. I just take a monitor. Yeah, it's like this. Uh, you can uh, have a keyboard over here. Destroying a whole setup, doesn't matter. So this way you can still find the beer on your desk. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, like this. Oh wait, it's a pro monitor, so for work, so a cup of coffee on your desk. <laughs> So like this, so the light isn't shining into your eyes. It's not shining on the uh, monitor, but it's uh, uh, on the desk and you can arrange intensity over here. Quite convenient. Anyway, um, that was it for today. No. As the Rockman says, I have no problems finding beer. <laughs> <laughs> Let me put that away. Ooh, should be okay. <coughs> yeah, so today we're going to talk about these three uh, models. Uh, let me unbox one of them. I don't want to make it, make it too spectacular because... This is always the difficult part. I always do it like this. Not sure if there's a manual how to do this. <laughs> <laughs> you need to watch out because And then when he pulls the box off, it falls on the ground. <laughs> yeah, 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 you need to watch out. Oh, 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 oh. You almost hit me with the box. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So, let me put it like this. So, a lot of things here. Uh, so, first of all, we have the uh, monitor stand. Another part of the monitor stand. <laughs> wow. Keyboard. Then we have an HDMI cable. Not going to use it today. Um, not this one. We have an adapter, power adapter. So uh, it really depends on the monitor if there's a power adapter uh, or if the uh, power supply is built into the monitor. Um, most of the times, the more power, uh, yeah, let's say the more higher end models or the, the bigger screen size, they have an internal adapter. Um, it also depends a bit on the thickness. If you want like a really thin yeah. monitor, yeah, it's design. not possible to include it. Yeah. Um, the other end of the power cable. Not going to use it today. Of course, uh, there is a manual. We don't need it. Maybe it says how you can put it back together after we uh, disassemble one. So I doubt it. <laughs> let me put that here. And then, of course, we have the monitor. So this one is the curve model. Oh, I see That's some plastic on the back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Start peeling again. Yeah, indeed, <laughs> indeed, indeed. Uh, before I'm going to do that, I'm going to show you. Can we do like this, Mike? So this is a, a toolless assembly. Um, so at the bottom, oh, e even not. Uh, well, difference per monitor. You can click it like this. And then you just switch the monitor on. Of, let me see. You slide it in. Uh, at the back, yeah, you see it like this. Let me see, yeah. And that's it. So. Um, let me see. Uh, this is a curved uh, monitor. You can see that clearly. Let me uh, peel this off. Is this RGB? No. <laughs> Normally we can find these things on RGB, right? Yep. Okay, that's sticky. We have more, right? Oh, here at the bottom, uh, at the front. The no. The 
sticker with features and specifications and stuff? Yeah, so this one says MP242, 24 inch, Pro Series, second generation for whatever, or second version, C, Curved Series. Okay, maybe we uh, leave that here as a reminder what it has. <laughs> ah, don't worry, I know. So, this is one of the first models. As uh, the Rockman says, I would keep that sticker on. Why? Yeah, well, th th some people do that indeed. Uh, I also did it for a long time at home. When, <laughs> when it's I the first thing I, I pull off. <laughs> I, I, thought I bought a new TV at home and I, you know, I didn't trust the kids because the previous TV was destroyed by a controller. <laughs> he was angry. <laughs> <laughs> and, well, you know, it was an accident. Um, so, I bought a new OLED TV and I thought, let's keep the protection uh, fall on there. Uh, <laughs> You they also it. keep the box around it. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, but I, 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 you know, I keep most boxes. <laughs> I keep most boxes, yeah. That's just uh, my habit. Uh, but in the end, I removed it. Like even the TV box? No, huge. no, no, I still have that, but TV box is not, the, money, the TV is not in the box anymore. <laughs> okay. Let me be clear about that. <laughs> but still, the, like the box itself, it's, it's big. Yeah. Oh, oh, by the way, uh, for the TV I didn't, because it wasn't, wasn't really a box, it was some sort of construction, like uh, hmm. protecting the sides and strange stuff. The um, Livesway is asking, hey Mike, weren't you in South Africa earlier? Not that I know of. Yeah, yeah. let me clean it, uh, fingerprints. Did you use the same stuff I used to clean the monitor? No, I oh. did not. <laughs> I just took this out of the box and I just touched it. <laughs> okay, so uh, resolution, uh, 1080p. Um, if you look at the back, over here, yeah, uh, you see a, a joystick, uh, which for the menu, uh, it really differs per monitor. Some of the monitors have some buttons over here. Most of our monitors have this five-way joystick. Uh, joystick. So Let me see if I can adjust our close-up cam a bit, because it's struggling a bit with brightness, it seems. Yeah, okay, you do that. Uh, so basically you can enter the menu uh, in the menu, the on-screen display menu, so for us it's very difficult to show. There are several options of course, uh, selecting the input of the monitor. Um, you can also uh, adjust the, the brightness or the, the do color correction. Um, some of the models, uh, depending on the models, uh, they also, uh, then you talk about more high-end models, uh, they also have picture-in-picture, -picture, those kind of features. Uh, you can select the modes for um, uh, watching movies, um, uh, gaming even, uh, so all kinds of different settings. This is the on-screen display uh, menu. Uh, later I will show you some software uh, which comes with our uh, monitors. Um, oh, 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 Mike, 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 Mike. Are you making a mess again? <laughs> I, I <laughs> wait, wait, wait. People want that entertainment too. <laughs> uh, one moment. I, um, Always, Eric. <laughs> <laughs> I did the Diet Coke test with my key. Here, I got some paper notebook. right here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we should. Uh... No one saw that. <laughs> <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> did you hit the keyboard or just? Yeah, the desk? yeah, keyboard. But I think this is. Uh... Phew. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it's always like that. Let me put so this aside. Eric is not even starting to open stuff up and he's already destroying it. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It still works. If we see some smoke coming out of it, then we know what the problem is. Last time I spilled coke on live stream, it was on purpose. It was with the chair, chair behind you, the rebel tech. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the connectors on the back. Uh, yeah. So uh, we have, uh, uh, it's quite simple, uh, this model. Uh, we have uh, audio in, audio out. Uh, we have a D-sub connector uh, for VGA. We have HDMI connector and we have a power connector. And then over here, how do you call this, Mike? It's a Kensington lock. Lock, yeah. Yeah, so basically you, you have like the external it. lock and you can, for example, attach it to your, to your desk or anything. Yeah. So depending on the model, your, uh, your monitor can, uh, for example, this one, uh, what, what is this? This is tilt, I think. Eric, I can see a, a stain on the big mouse pad on the table. <laughs> it's uh, Funk Face says it's going to be sticky. Well, luckily it's the, the it's version Diet without Coke. sugar. Yeah, it's Diet Coke indeed. <laughs> Eric quickly finishing the can before no, he hits no, it no. again. <laughs> so I think this is tilt, right, Mike? Yeah. Yeah. So. Uh, this monitor can tilt. Uh, the curvature, if you talk about curvature, we have uh, several uh, models. In gaming, you have a, a more 
uh, you have thousand R curvature. So that's which, a stronger curve. Again. Yeah, which is uh, oh, yeah like this, which is a very strong curve. This is fifteen hundred R. One five zero zero R. So uh, this also means if you put two together, uh, yeah, it's it's more. Um, how do you say that? Um, a little bit more immersive. Um, because normally with a, let, let us also unbox a flat monitor. I have here another one. Let's try not to hit the coke. The lightweight says Michiel Schoen. That's our uh, marketing manager for South Africa. For yeah, MSI. that's another person. Yeah. Last time I checked. But yeah, first name definitely close. Let me. <laughs> I don't know where your can is currently located, but <laughs> be careful. <laughs> it's far away. <laughs> Good. Um, I didn't hit the camera. <laughs> was close. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was close. <laughs> what can go wrong? Hey, let me let me do like this, Michiel. <laughs> You're annoying. Wait. <laughs> uh, I do like this. Okay, so here you see how everything is packed. Uh, there are seven, several components in which you can find everything. So. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, the stand, another part of the stand, and this again, toolless. Just click it in. I, I should have a bigger desk, Mike. That's the problem. Power oh, that's the problem. Other part of the power connector, uh, HDMI cable, and again, uh, manual. Uh, some screws. Later we talk ab about that. Let me put that. Here. Take this one out. Oh, there's even manual. Fragile. Okay. I just do my So way. be careful. <laughs> Who's going to clean this up later? You. Oh, then I put everything. <laughs> I, was, I was piling everything up. <laughs> Let's not do that. Let's keep it separated. So over here again, tools design on the back. Just click this in. Let me see. This is also the first time I do this model. Is that it? Yeah. yeah. Keller is asking, are there gifts after the stream, even during the stream? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe uh, do a giveaway, Mike. Yeah, I will <laughs> draw <laughs> some in a minute. Mike, <laughs> <laughs> without spilling. So if you haven't participated yet, go to msi.com slash two slash insider. Uh, if you're watching on uh, MSI Gaming on YouTube or on Twitch, the bot will automatically put it in the chat. Well, it doesn't for YouTube right now, but I will manually do that right now. Oh, it looks like it actually does work. Hmm, okay. Now you have to link twice if you're watching on YouTube or in uh, MSI Gaming on YouTube. But of course, you can also participate if you're watching through another platform. Um, the link will redirect you to uh, Gleam. Within Gleam, you can perform um, several actions. The more actions you perform, the bigger chance you'll have to win. Here we have our first winner, Eric. It's all, all yours. You play this game, right? Yeah. Uh, the, how is the slogan again? Winner, winner. Chicken dinner. <laughs> Congratulations. I never played that. You won uh, one of the Netflix codes. PUBG. And then uh, let's draw yeah. another winner before we continue. Well, I mean, the, people can do two things, right? Yeah, multitasking. Installing a game. Next winner is Derek C. So Congratulations. if you did not participate yet, uh, please go to uh, amazon.to slash insider or uh, on YouTube and Twitch, we have our spam bot spamming. And Mike <laughs> is also spamming the link, right? I'm always spamming the link. Cool. Okay. So let's continue. Uh, so this is another model, uh, a flat model. Uh, if we look at this model, well, we can how to do that. Oh. Can we show the curvature, Mike? Yes. Mm. Yeah, it's difficult. You see, so there is a, a clearly a curvature in the monitor. Um, at the back, uh, for this model as well, 
uh, over here. Uh, we see HDMI connector, D sub, uh, uh, power connector. So this one also has an adapter. What's interesting, and later we will talk more about that. Uh, Mike, to go to the yeah, maybe the yes. mm, yeah. I think everybody can see it as well. So uh, for uh, several models, several monitors, they are connected with uh, visa mount. This model has the connector over here, which is toolless, but this means that with visa mount you can also use um, uh, you can use this uh, either to, of course, hang it on a, uh, like a how do you say that? A monitor stand, yep. but also you can use this to. But also to monitor arm, for example. Yeah, arm. That's what. So I if you want to have like say, yeah. dual screen or triple screen setup, you usually use yeah. arms for that. Uh, but you can also, for example, and later we're going to do that, uh, put QB on here, or DP21 for that matter. So uh, let us go a little bit in the specs, Mike. Yes. We have too many monitors. Next time we shouldn't select this many uh, products. <laughs> okay, so uh, all these three monitors they have 75 uh, hertz refresh rates. So normally in this segment you expect 60. This is a little bit better, and that's just to give your eyes more rest. Because uh, a friend of mine, a long time ago, he already told me, don't uh, try to save money on your monitor. Because yes, you want to have a fast PC, you want to have a nice VGA card or a graphics card. You're always interacting with your monitor, you're always looking at it. And so these features are especially for the uh, pro segment, for the commercial uh, segment, uh, to, you know, uh, yeah, to, to, yeah, we call it eye care. Um, this is anti-flicker, so normally if you have a monitor, uh, there's always a refresh, uh, no, it's not a refresh rate, there's always a flicker. These use anti-flicker, which means that uh, your eyes don't get that tired uh, uh, as fast as uh, on other monitors. Um, this is also two UV, TUF, how do you say this in English? TUF? We say TUF. TUV. TUV, yeah, TUV certified. Then we have uh, less blue light. I think everybody with a, with a mobile phone knows this. Uh, both iOS and Android, they have, uh, at least in the newer features, they have this function where you yep. can, uh, after, for example, sundown, you can uh, select that the screen is emitting less blue lights. And there is a technical word for it. Mike, you remember it? A technical word for the yeah, less blue light uh, feature. What it's uh, what is destroying? <laughs> oh, Manuel um, said that. melatonin. You mean? Melatonin. That's like the the what your body generates yeah. to to get tired and fall asleep. Yeah, indeed. So uh, with blue light, uh, this gets destroyed, and this means that you also don't get sleepy. So with less blue lights, uh, you just will follow the normal uh, day and night cycle. Um, so if you want to stay awake, for example, if you're working on your you thesis or whatever, then turn this off and <laughs> easy. <laughs> Indeed. Um, so these monitors I already just showed you. I don't have, well, I have two curves here as well. Let me. Hmm. Does this fit? They're not the same size. But I think you already get ID. <laughs> Everywhere there is the, the white stuff from the packing. Uh, so if you have um, two the same uh, mo uh, models, and I always advise to do this with uh, uh, similar models, otherwise you get something like this. I also has, have this at home. I have a setup with three monitors. Uh, one is, uh, I, I think, 28 inch 4K. One is uh, 32 inch uh, 4040p, and one is. Uh, I even don't know, I think 22 inch and uh, 1080p. That's an, <laughs> That's an annoying setup. Sorry? That's an annoying setup with it's all the different... Yeah, yeah, exactly, because if you want to move your, move your mouse cursor from one screen to the other screen, you know, you always have different resolutions and different sizes. Yeah, so like espe especially make sure that the size and the resolution is the same. That's like yeah, the main thing. Indeed. And also that you I can put them on the same height. I have yeah. a purpose for, for what I have. I mean, the 4K I can watch movie on if I want. Uh, the uh, 4040p is a G-Sync monitor, so I can game. Yeah. Well, mine, I, I have a triple monitor set up and mine are not identical because the one in the middle is different. I, and the one in the middle is a G-Sync monitor. And then I basically have the non-G-Sync versions of that same monitor on the sides, because I only game on one monitor, yeah, and of same, course, G-Sync version was quite a bit more expensive. Yeah. So but it's always, that, yeah, uh, it's always good to, to uh, take similar uh, models. Um, then also, if you look at the bezel, these have a, a thin bezel. Um, yeah, let, let me first remove this. <laughs> good idea. <laughs> I learned fast, right? <laughs> 
So you see the bezel over here. Um, yeah, it's it's really thin. So uh, if you put monitors together, uh, of course you you don't want that uh, there is a, a big line in uh, between it. You can not prevent that, of course. And uh, yeah, I, this is wrong example because I use two different monitors. Uh, but you want to have them as close uh, as possible uh, together. Um, also important, uh, these monitors have uh, two inputs, uh, HDMI and DSUB. So all of them. So I can also put this one here. So you actually also see the sizes. So um, let me see. Uh, 24 inch, 24 inch, 27 inch. So they all have uh, the same uh, number of connectors regarding uh, VJ support, HDMI and DSUB. So with this you can also connect uh, two devices and uh, easy on the back with the joystick. So let me show you that. So this model for example has the buttons over here. This on off. Uh, I don't know. I think this one is uh, having the menu, then up and down, and this is confirmed. And then uh, these two models, let me show. Yeah, these two models. This one has the uh, joystick over here. Very easy to use. Most of our gaming models also have the joystick. And then you can very easy, uh, if you have only one monitor, uh, switch between um, the different uh, input sources. Okay, um, let us talk a little bit about the audio. Um, let us maybe later, uh, let, let that for later. I mean, they have uh, speakers. Let me make some room. So these monitors also have speakers built in. Don't expect uh, too much of it. This is just a uh, two watt. Uh, it's so not a not a home no, theater no, replacement set. Not. This is not for watching your movies. Then put your headset on. Uh, but just you know, for normal window sounds and and some uh, YouTube movies, it should be uh, more than enough. Uh, but uh, yeah, if you're audiophile, uh, you deserve better. Um, and you know, there is just little space. I will also open one up. Uh, you can see the speakers as well. Um, let me see. Let me let us put QB on the back, Mike. Is that something? Yeah, sounds good. Well, uh, I'm not sure if it's a good idea to let you touch a QB again. Yeah, <laughs> that, that should be fine. That should be fine. <laughs> let me put some cables here already. Okay, so um, so this is our QB, which is a small mini PC, and uh, one of the benefits is uh, that you can easy. Connect it on the back of a monitor. Yeah, Mike, I need to. I think you need to select a different view. Yeah. And for this, uh, in the box of QB, we have this kind of uh, mounting bracket. You need to put on the back of the monitor. So uh, in the box are also some screws. This comes with QB. And there are uh, four screws to attach it. So the QB is going to get screwed. Sorry? So that QB is gonna get screwed. Mike, can you check the chat? I see a lot of questions. Let me see. And so what I'm going to do, I'm going to put it like this. Then it's most easy uh, to put it on there. I mostly see comments, not that many questions right now. Well, any question, just let us know in the chat. I see uh, indeed a lot of experiences. Aren't they saying curve one is better? It depends a bit on, on what you want to do as well. First time I used the curve monitor in the office here, I was like, oh my God, how is my PowerPoint ever going to look great? But after a few, and I don't, I don't, I don't want to say a few days or weeks because I don't remember, but after a time, I don't see the difference anymore. I'm not annoyed by it. And in the beginning, especially for PowerPoint usage and my outlook, I was really annoyed. <laughs> you had it uh, as well, Mike? Um, I mostly have it for, uh, I li li especially like <laughs> flat monitors. At work I mostly watch movies. <laughs> <laughs> I've got curved at work indeed. Um, so there, yeah, because I have curved, I, I have a good reason to watch movies at work all the time. Yeah. Um, uh, but for gaming, I personally prefer flat. But I really play those kind of esports titles, like very fast shooters and Rocket League and things like that. I do yeah. prefer flat for that. Uh, but at the office I don't mind the curved one. It is a more natural feel because I also use multi-monitor. Um, and at home I do that with three flat monitors and that's less ideal than three curved, I would say. Because yeah. the curved is really more around you. It's more immersive. Okay, select the detail cam. Yes. So as you can see, I attach a bracket with four screws phaser mount. 
Uh, these three monitors have different phase amounts, so two of them have uh, 100 by 100, like this one, other one has 75 and 75. Uh, but as you can see here, these are the mounting holes for 75 and 75, and then I use the 100 by 100. So once we have that, and I think it should be visible like this, well, I'm just going to do like this. I hope it's still, yeah, oh, oh. Oh, you destroyed it. No, 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 Mike. <laughs> just a technical problem, we always have that. It's not a problem, it's a challenge. Yeah. And we're back. <laughs> okay, so then we have QB. Uh, at the back of QB, you, you also see some mounting holes. You can easy uh, click it on here, and that's it. Now we only need to uh, connect the connector. So what I have here is a D-sub cable. <laughs> I actually had to hunt uh, this down in the office. I need to reset the settings, by the way. No the problem, no problem. Uh, we didn't have these cables anymore, but I want you to uh, I want you to show the software on this model. Yep. So I want to <coughs> capture this model, and our capture card only works with HDMI. So I have that one here. So let me. It's going to be a cable mess for a while. Look, so let me first uh, uh, attach a D-sub. I think that's... Uh, I'm not sure why I'm uh, tightening them. But yeah, usually if you would do it as, at home and you don't need to use a capture card, then I would suggest to use the HDMI instead. Yeah. A short HDMI cable would be best. Yeah, so what I now did, a little bit cable management with some uh, Velcro. Uh, I, yeah, the, I, I remove, I, yeah, I, how do you say that? I tightened it that you, is this, uh, one moment. Yeah, I tightened it that you don't see the cables at front uh, because you don't want that. So from the front, you don't see any cables. So. Now I'm going to connect the rest. I have here uh, already a bunch of cables. The last way says, who uses a uh, VGA cable? HDMI should come in a package. HDMI, HDMI is actually the one that comes in a package. I don't think VGA is not included, right, for the monitor? Uh, no, VGA is not included. No, like the what HDMI I said, is I, included. I really need to uh, uh, check some old boxes <laughs> yeah. to find some cables. Yeah, the only reason we're using the VGA one now is because we need the HDMI for our capture card. But otherwise, definitely go for, for HDMI in this configuration as well. Yeah. And this is just to show you uh, how QB can be uh, attached on the back. Uh, switch it on. We also have an extension cable for QB, so you can have an uh, on-off button at the front. So it looks like a cable mess, but if we're going to the front, well, I mean, it should be like this, right? Is, uh, is our capture working, Mike? Let me see. Yeah, we're booting up. Oh, cool. It works. <laughs> you sound surprised. <laughs> <laughs> No, I don't sound surprised. Uh, RKB said, curved ones, curved monitors look distorted to me. It is it is a two-sided story a bit, because on the one hand, I get what you mean. Like if you have straight lines, um, for example, if you're working in Photoshop or whatever and you want to use rulers, I can get that that, for example, looks distorted. But on the other hand, like the distance from your eyes to certain parts of the monitors, if you have a flat one, the middle part of the monitor will always be closer than the sides of the monitor. Whereas if you have a curved monitor, it's more around you. So the distance from your eyes to the sides of the monitor will be more equal to the middle. So from both sides, you could say it look, looks distorted. One with the difference and the, the, the difference in distance and the other one with the fact that you're running straight lines in a curved monitor. So it's, yeah, it's a, Always a complicated dis discussion. <laughs> What's better? It's. Uh, I would say it's. It's really. Uh, hey, you're in front of the camera now. <laughs> yeah, I. Uh, the monitor also needs power. This is not a special model. Just needs power. Ah. Needs power. Yeah, I would say curved or flat is really a matter of preference, and even in what you're going to do will depend on what will be the more logical choice. Like if you. For example, watch a lot of movies. I think their curve can be nice and multi-monitor. It definitely has, has benefits. 
Um, but there are definitely also examples where a flat one will be the more suitable option. Okay. Okay, now I also see things. Okay, uh, so um, let me show you quickly some... Uh, Mike, maybe you can show the slide first? Yes. Oh, are you still uh, up? Yeah? Am I not? Mm, no. Is your notebook still awake? <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> well, uh, okay, maybe you refresh that one. Um, Hmm. I will remove my HDMI. That's always a problem with live streams. Uh, if we, I mean, it's easy to show a picture, but live we want to show you all these things. Uh, ah, no, there there is again, but now my, um, now it doesn't seem to be working here. Yeah, it works again. Okay, so uh, maybe back to the events around. So you can either uh, attach a QB or for example, this one. Okay, maybe go to the main view. Yes. This is a DP21. Uh, it's much bigger than QB, but uh, something like this also has a bracket. Let me see how I need to attach it. Uh, oh, so it's here. Yeah. Also has a bracket, which can be used as a, a VESA mount. Uh, so you can also connect it to the back of a monitor. And like what we showed in the live stream, you can also with a stand, or you can put it like this. So. I see a very interesting comment uh, by the story ends on Twitch. I wonder if curved monitor causes more eye strain if eyes don't need to uh, change focus as much as a flat screen. I would say, you know, I'm not affected by any of them, but I would say maybe even less. Yeah, I would also say less. Yeah, because your eyes are round and in the corners it's coming more towards you, so it's a more natural look and feel. Yeah, I would say indeed with a flat monitor, and especially the wider the monitor, the, the bigger factor this is, the, the, the change in, in distance, that will cause your eyes to focus again. So, for example, if you have an ultra wide, then it's very extreme. If you use a flat monitor, like the distance to the sides will be quite far, and I, your eyes will obviously need to focus if, if something is on the very side of the monitor or, or in the middle. So, the wider the monitor, the more sense curve makes, I would say. Like, especially for ultra wide, I, I, for ultra wide, I definitely wouldn't consider a flat monitor. Mike, can we go to the software? Yes. Did you capture? So this is the uh, QB system, which I just attached to the back of the monitor. And this is called Display Kit, which is a software uh, we bundle with these monitors. Um, let me uh, open up some things. So Chrome, an email program. I don't know what I downloaded. Mm, nothing, MSI Global. Okay, so you see all those applications here, and uh, with this program, split a window, you can easily select the layout, and you can easily select, uh, let me see, I want email in the top corner, I want uh, my navigator in number two, and my browser here, and then you say apply, and then the window, the windows apply accordingly. Well, I didn't set up the email, um, but as you can see over here, um, the grid is followed, so that's, very convenient if you're working with multiple applications. It can also be like this. Um, well, let me do different uh, first. That one there, mail on top, apply. And lower this down. So you have now the browser on the left side. Uh, and this can be an, uh, an explorer. Um, can be a second browser window. Uh, you can configure this however you want. So that's uh, quite convenient uh, software. Um, then display, uh, display we have the different settings. At this moment, it does not show 75 because I'm connected via DSAP. Because I need, we need the, uh, the HDMI connector for our capture cards. Uh, but these monitors all support 75 uh, Hz. So, and here you see the, uh, the connector I have, the cam link, which is uh, the, the capture the, card. Yeah. yeah, the capture card indeed. So, color settings, uh, as you can see, 
I can change the, the colors on the monitors based on the preferences you want, contrast as well. Arbushi X is asking, so in that regard, are you moving your eyes or your head more? Well, basically, the wider depends, your monitor gets... how big your monitor yeah. is. Yeah, and also how far it's away from you. Like, if yeah. you have a big or very wide monitor and it's close to you, then at a certain point, you're going to turn your head. Um, but I no know. matter what you do, it's always... Um, the distance will still be different yeah. uh, if you're using a flat monitor that is very wide. Yeah. Um, I think uh, for, for a lot of people, of course, it's very difficult to test monitors, but you can go to a store, but I don't think it, that really can convince you. Yes, if you're going for a curved monitor for gaming, that's really convincing because it's really immersive. But if you have, for, for example, like me, if I work it, at night, I game, <laughs> I'm a hero, and during the day, I'm a loser, I work, something <laughs> like that. Um, yeah, then it's uh, uh, quite difficult. Um, but yeah. I think if you go to the store, you can already get an impression. So uh, also different presettings, standard, gaming, FPS, uh, cinema, so to adjust ac accordingly. Then we have over here tools, uh, some uh, easy monitor related tools like uh, the projector. Um, so you can uh, select the, the, um, the source, uh, you can use uh, wireless display, shut down your monitor after 10 minutes, uh, auto shut down. Zoom, like this. It is an easy feature for me. <laughs> um, and on on screen display. So these are more the usability, the accessibility uh, uh, features you know from Windows. Uh, but I think especially this split window is uh, very interesting. Okay, let me uh, close this down. Um, and I think we can start to open one up right are you sure yeah i'm um, <laughs> are you confident you're not going to break it i it ta this answer takes too long <laughs> i'm smiling and then you can do a giveaway <laughs> yeah um if you haven't participated yet go to msr.com slash two then i can power this down or watch the or uh, follow the direct link uh, if you're watching on twitch or uh, msi gaming on youtube um uh, then let me uh, draw our next winner how is this uh with power the, this one has a built-in power supply yeah so you don't have a brick it's just a cable directly. yeah but i mean should i worry if it's still charged or something um you, nah, should it be a problem it's good content <laughs> if it is still charged <laughs> so let me put qb here let me take this monitor. So everyone, don't try this at home. If it is charged, then uh, you, <laughs> you can enjoy Eric hitting something. <laughs> uh, our next winner for today is uh, Traveling Ones. So zero N-E-Z, Traveling Ones. Congratulations, you also won uh, a Netflix uh, pass. Um, and then we have another winner, Jonathan. Also, congratulations, you also one one of our uh, netflix gift cards so for all the winners please keep an eye out on your uh, in your email then we will uh, mail you the gift cards with some instructions on how to redeem it and if you haven't participated yet make sure to do so because we will have some uh, more uh, more winners later in the stream as well i'm a bit afraid to to damage things mike maybe i should just not care so am i except <laughs> that things can be irreparable damaged where's broken. the confidence <laughs> uh, because i never opened up a monitor uh oh so um this is like uh trial and error i know there is a power supply inside so if you look over here there is a power supply uh, uh, included that's why i'm <laughs> a little bit worried <laughs> um anyway uh, i'm not going to tell you where the screws are because you should not do this at home i'm just going to remove what i see and this probably works like a phone. I'm not sure if, <laughs> I hope you didn't open a phone at home. Uh, <laughs> but you have some prying tool and uh, you just need to uh, put it between the screen and the sides and hope it opens up. Sometimes it feels like it's uh, going to break down. Uh, with a tablet I had many times, uh, it really breaks down the screen. Depends how it's glued. But when I open up things, you know, I'm, I have a reason.
So today the reason is I'm curious how it looks on the inside. <laughs> yeah, okay. So I removed uh, three screws. Um, let me see. Because that's currently all I see. Maybe I should still uh, uh, push the on button to make sure that, that you know to empty the the power supply. Later on, we'll see if it works or not. <laughs> <laughs> it should be okay. It should be okay. I don't see any other things anymore. So I have a prime tool over here. So I'm just. Our bushy on Twitch says, "I just pressed the power button a million times. Never had a problem." Uh-oh. <laughs> I think this is the right way. Let me... Yeah, you're really using the phase amount for this. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? It's here. It should work. Should I hand you a shovel or something? <laughs> no, this is normally... They're all locked with small plastic things on the side. Ah. Woo. <laughs> is there still something in there or is everything over the table? In the no, 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 no. <laughs> later I need to uh, clean my notebook. Yeah. Okay, so uh, what I did with uh, these uh, small plastic tools I just put between the edge. Well, I should not teach you guys. Anyway, don't do this at home. I'm not sure if this is covered by warranty. So now... I'm pretty sure it's not. <laughs> yeah. As you can see at the bottom, there's a small crack. So what I'm now going to do, I'm going to do the same at the sides. But there is tension from all sides because I think this is made to stay closed. Yeah. Just... So the, the phase amount for QB is useful. <laughs> it's a multi-tool. Okay. Any questions on the chat? I think everyone is enjoying you struggling with the We don't have a lot of questions today, moment. Mike. Normally a lot of questions. Everybody enjoying me dying or what? <laughs> no, I need to put some... Uh, Have a <laughs> the story ends as MSI engineers will be watching this, so they design harder <laughs> to open cases for future streams. <laughs> I think they don't appreciate I'm opening one. Oh, we're opening Normally it so we... the viewers don't have to. Sorry? We're opening one so the viewers don't have to. They can see what yeah, it looks indeed, like on the inside. This is uh, a science. Education. Uh, you know, normally we don't tell issue uh, always what we're going to do with all the samples because I think if they know, we wouldn't get all the samples we ask for. Like Plus. Jack cutting the chair open, me s smashing tempered glass windows to see how strong they are. <laughs> yeah, like that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, maybe I. Did you destroy the camera again? Yeah, 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 yeah. Maybe Mike. Uh, maybe maybe, maybe don't touch the camera. <laughs> But maybe you can come here with a mobile phone and then... And, and Give me one second for that. You have it over there, right? Uh, yes. Because we also have a mobile cam and then, I mean, this is very small to see if that works. Because most times it crashes. Yeah, like this. So... This part can maybe take 10 hours. No way, easy. So that's one okay. side. Oh, two sides actually already. Let me. Don't get seasick. Oh, you have <laughs> your hand there. Yeah. I have my hand on it. Yeah. There we go. Okay. Yeah, so people, you see the green screen. Everything is fake here. So what I'm trying to do. Maybe I should ask the engineers how to open up one. Yeah, if, we, if it's like so this. There's a bit of a gap right there. Yeah, I just can do. Don't uh -oh. break it. Don't break it. A face amount. Where is it? <laughs> yeah, 
like this. Hmm, that went quite smooth. Let me just stand here. Don't get too close, power supply is still uh, charged. <laughs> <I think. laughs> So at this moment we cannot read the chat. Oh, yeah. I actually can. Hey. I think, yes. So um, as you can see here, uh, what is this? Let me see. This is uh, the button on the, no, the buttons, yeah. So there is a very small PCB over here. Uh, which, Mike, I close it. So you can, which are the buttons over here. So each button has a function, so it needs to run a wire. So let me see if I can disconnect this. <laughs> or cut it, just cut the cable. <laughs> <laughs> oh. And this, let me see if there's a lock. Yeah, there's a lock. So that one is easy. Can you see that? It's like mobile phones. It's a, uh, maybe you need to focus. Yeah. Uh, it's like mobile phones. There is a, a very small lock with a, a flat cable. Well, I hope you don't know mobile phones because things in mobile phones are even smaller. And this is the, uh, the PCB with the, for power and function. So I'm going to do like this, Mike. A bit awkward. <laughs> <laughs> You're stuck? <laughs> I'm stuck. Anyway, I do like this. Ah. Oh, disconnect here. Yes. That was easier. Okay, so that's the back cover. That's one part. <sighs> so now. Yeah, maybe my I can do that, and uh, you can go back switching scenes. I'll hand this over. Ooh, everybody getting seasick like this. <laughs> yeah, so um, let me put it here, so maybe Dietl can, can see this as well. So this is the back of the monitor. Yeah, I will put this down for now, Mike. So this is the back of the monitor. I removed the uh, cover uh, over here, uh, two small cables and some tape, which doesn't want to leave me. Uh, where to put it? Hmm. On my notebook to uh, take out some code. So, um, yeah, there is some, some protective tape here. Uh, I think it's uh, to, to keep the cables on its place. So let's remove that. Yeah, you see that? So it's also uh, it's a, like special tape. Yeah, I'm not sure if you can see this. Uh, but this is also for uh, um, uh, radiation. That sounds negative. Is there another better English word? It's it's radiation, but like EMI and stuff. I'm not. It's sure not really radiation, that. right? Yeah. Anyway, I put this on my notebook. Over here as well. Why do I put yeah, this on uh, my notebook? Yeah. Esports SAO interference. I think that's a better yeah, word. Yeah, maybe interference. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> radiation sounds very really, really negative. Over here, I. So over here is the. Oh yeah, let us first focus on these two things. So these are the speakers. Uh, very small, two watt speakers. Uh, they make sound, but like we said, it's not your uh, home hi-fi theater. I can I remove them? I don't know how they're connected. There, uh, uh, um, as you can see, maybe I can do it like this. I don't know how this will look. Maybe upside down. Oh, are we still? Connected? Oh, now it's disconnected, Mike. It was. I think you need to terminate the app first. Can you try? Yep. Yeah. So, um, sorry, it's uh, it's complicated here. Yeah. So as you can see, they uh, put on some rubbers for the vibrations. You don't want that the uh, the this thing boom boom boom. Uh, depending on the music you have, uh, makes a lot of noise and then has uh, uh, the noise uh, you can uh, hear on the metal. So there is some rubbers for damping stuff. 
And I don't know how to take them out. Are they screws? No. Artist 90k says we need a cameraman. That's a good idea. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we should have. Anyway, uh, so Mike, can you switch to another camera? Yes. What I'm going to do, I have uh, here still some tape to remove. If it is possible to remove, yeah. VRK says they're kind of laptop speakers. Yeah, indeed, it's it's a bit similar. It's like small size speakers. I think most they do give you sound, but yeah. Located where we have some uh, cables. Should I take pictures that I can put it back together, or uh, or you can <laughs> we just put it in a box and send uh, back to Taiwan or to Ruud? Ah, Ruud can watch back the stream and then he knows oh, yeah, what, yeah, what, yeah, yeah, yeah. what you took off and where you took it off. So let me remove this metal case. I mean. It always starts with some screws. Oh, that's that one is easy. I hope Ruth is watching. Ruth is our FAE. He always helps. Preparing, putting things back together, repairing. <laughs> I'm really thankful for that. So, should I uh, wear gloves? Because there is some. Uh, some uh, electricity inside, or will this not help? Ah, uh, come on, living on the edge. <laughs> okay, okay, easy. Oh, <laughs> not easy. Okay, okay, I see, I see. Um, okay, let me. Is this camera working, Mike? Yep. So, let us try to focus. At the bottom here, there is also some protective foil, and there is a PCB below this. And I think this PCB. Is connected here to, I don't know, power supply. I think here is the, the logic board, um, which is uh, connected to the display. The display, of course, at the front, and at the, you have the lights for the display, the, the backlight. Eric, do you see who's in the chat? No. It's Ja. He says, hey. this is never going to end well. <laughs> well, Ja, I still have all screws, so uh, <laughs> eat that. <laughs> Let me. Nah. Uh, okay, uh, I'm just going to take this off like this. Uh, I think okay. Jazz is totally can correct. You switch, <laughs> can you switch to another uh, camera, Mike? Yes. Because uh, I need to find a way to disassemble this. So we have some tape again. And then here. <sighs> we didn't talk about pricing, right? So nobody nope. knows what I'm destroying. Not yet. <laughs> Not yet. I don't know how I can disconnect this one. Is it? I, it's very, very difficult to see what kind of connector it is. Looks like a flat cable, but is this a lock? Hmm. No. Maybe next time I uh, should talk with engineers before I open up something up. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Uh, because this is what I'm interested in. I'm not interested in the power supply. <laughs> I think it's too dangerous to open up. Let me... How can I... Can I disconnect this? No, also not. Oh, the power supply is over here, I think. Okay. VRK is asking, what's the weight of the monitor? Yeah, it's I on the it's data sheet. Very good one. I don't know from top of my head. Let's say like six or seven kilograms. What was the exact model name of this one? Uh, this is the, uh, which one am I opening? The 27 inch. So 271, see. M 271C. Okay. Let me quickly look that up for you, uh, VRK, to give you an exact answer. Mm -hmm. Well, Eric is probably uh, some engineers watching and laughing like Jaa is doing, but I don't <laughs> care. I'm here to find out stuff. I also don't know how much this differs uh, with a, like a high-end gaming monitor, um, which has a, a lot of more features, uh, which means there should be more uh, PCB inside. But usually, it's not that's not a very big deal in weight. It's mostly the screen size that's the biggest factor. Okay, so now um, I have this. So two seven. But I should oh. Mm. Okay. I think I cannot remove this mic. I need something else. Um, let me. Uh, can you take something? 
Well, one moment, I'm quickly looking up the weight. It's 5.4 kilograms. Yes, I think I don't have the tools in order to open this one up. Hmm. Um, I can show What do you need to do exactly? Sorry? What are you going to do exactly? I need to uh, remove the VJ connector. Uh, so I need to have some sort of thing. Um, can I have a look here? Yeah, uh, these I need to remove, I think, uh, because the PCB is, is Oof. yeah. Oof. Yeah, something over there what fits? Mm, I doubt it if I have the right tools for that. Yeah. Anyway, um, so what I did, uh, over here is the power supply. I can, I don't know if I can take this off. Yeah, I can take this off. So this part is the power supply and yeah, we use a green screen so it looks uh, transparent and then some other colors. And uh, this part is the logic board uh, where we have all the connectors at the bottom. And where I'm now stuck is the, the, the D-sub has uh, two of those screws over here and I think I need to rem remove them uh, because it's stuck at the connectors. Yeah, I don't have any tools that can take those Can you maybe off? check over uh, maybe at ICT? Yeah, I'll be right back. Yeah. Um, so what I'm going to do in the meanwhile, I'm still going to check how I can remove this cable. Um, somehow. Okay, so this is... Um, I don't know what kind of connector this is, so for me it's very difficult to... I mean, it's easy to break. Oh, yeah, I got it, I got it at one side, so there should be some locking mechanism. Okay, so that's on top. Ooh, it's still locked in. Okay. I don't know. I don't know if it's one piece. Uh, sorry, I cannot switch cameras right now. Mike is gone. Uh, but I managed to disconnect this connector, uh, which is from the logic board to the, uh, to the big PCB at the bottom. And now we can put this, nah, yeah, a bit more away. And we can try to open this up, if possible, yeah. Oof, it's really tightly connected. Not sure if it's supposed to be opened up, but that was already the problem with the whole monitor. Oh, that's a really small PCB. Okay. Um. So these things are not meant to be opened up. That's also why all these kind of... Uh, Things are glued. Probably Mike is not coming back anymore. Doesn't matter. Ah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, and this is still connected. Okay. Because I cannot access the PCB. What I'm going to do, I'm going to try to turn this around. To show you this PCB a little bit more. So at the bottom over here, uh, we have uh, over the whole back, we have this uh, PCB. Uh, there, I, I don't know what the controllers are. I didn't check this. Uh, I see some gold finger here. Mike, you have something? <laughs> He's coming back without stuff. No, I have something, but do you have the screwdriver with the separate handle? Uh, no. Because I do need that for this. <laughs> oh. No. And I, uh, yes, I have them. Yes, I have, I have, I have my here. Ah, then yeah. this may work. You see, you see what I did? What did you destroy? <laughs> well, not, 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 not much yet. So uh, I <laughs> yes. also see there are two different PCBs over here. And these, uh, so there are uh, one, two, three, 
four, five, six. Uh, probably connectors or something because I see some gold fingers over here. Mike, are you blocking the camera? Oh no. No. I'm oh, just checking the this. right side. Uh, the two different PCBs are connected here uh, with some. I don't know why this is, uh, but this is the, the the connector between the two PCBs. Um, this, of course, is to um, uh, to uh, give the signal to the display, but also to give the light. Yes, thank you. So let us check. Maybe next time we should test this and prepare this. Uh, the, why the, would you? The, hey, you touched oh, the camera. Oh, oops! Did I destroy it this time? Yeah. <laughs> and this is indeed what I needed. Thank you. So now everyone misses what you're doing. Yeah. Well, I can fake it like uh, <laughs> that it just start. One moment. Mike is uh, deactivating activating the camera. There we are. So these two screws uh, from the VGA connector. There we were, I think. <laughs> Sorry? There we were. Still stuck. Maybe one moment. I will put back the connector in. Yes. Still stuck. There yes. we are. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. So um, what I was looking for is to remove these two screws from the D-sub. So Mike brought me uh, something like this. So what I'm now going to do, I actually already did it. Let's not bullshit. Special okay. thanks to our colleague Manuel, who already looked up the right piece. He was okay. watching the stream in the meanwhile. So now I can <laughs> remove there the PCB. There we go. And more cables, more cables. It's uh, clearly a green PCB because I can see the background through it. <laughs> yeah, so let's take the other camera. Um, I hate cables, maybe. The problem is, I hate them, but if I remove some, ca yeah, that's that should be. Ooh, easy. You need to pick us up. We cannot see. Where do I leave this? Just throw away. <laughs> <laughs> carefully put it down. Uh, that was carefully, right? Carefully yeah, enough. Yeah, that's not exactly what I meant. <laughs> okay. So. Yeah. Uh, let me take a plastic thing. <laughs> uh, maybe I uh, do like this. So uh, this is the uh, logic uh, for the um, uh, for the PCB. Uh, so over here you have uh, the different connectors at the bottom of the monitors. Depending on the monitor, some are um, um, uh, focused at the bottom, some are uh, to, towards the rear. Really depends on the monitor. And of course, the PCB design, there is not a standard for that. So, uh, this one is the audio connector. Uh, so, this also means that over here somewhere, I think it's this chip over here with all the uh, condensators around it. Uh, this is the uh, audio uh, converter chip. Over here you have the D-sub. Well, we call it D-sub or VJ connector. Uh, it's something uh, from the past, but still a lot you of monitors. You have to move a little bit to this. the right. We can barely oh, see. Sorry, it. yeah, sorry, <laughs> yeah, sorry, sorry. I'm, I'm watching uh, the PCB indeed. And then over here we have the HDMI oh. connector. We're stuck. Uh, yeah, you can connect again, Mike. So, one moment. Yes. Uh, yeah, it's 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 complicated <laughs> to get uh, this focused and well. Anyway, um, sh can you try again, Mike? Or should I close the app and? Yeah, let me see. Keeps disconnecting somehow. Yeah. Okay. So over here you have the connector to the display. Uh, this I think is the connector to the power uh, because of the. Condensator. Let me let me try to read some stuff. Normally, when you uh, I can zoom as well, right? That works quite well. Nova Tech. So, uh, how is this ship called, Mike? Um, I can't see where you are now, but maybe it's an MCU. No, no, no. This is the uh, how do you call that for monitors? We're we're stuck again, by the way. Yeah, uh, maybe go to yeah, uh, let's switch camera. the main uh, cam. I will. Uh Our mobile cam is not very stable. Yeah, don't do <coughs> not select my notebook. 
<laughs> Doxing. <laughs> uh, opening my mailbox. Ah. Uh, maybe I have it in my uh, somewhere. For your case, has blocked this guy. I can see what you mean. I did. Somebody spamming? Yeah. Yeah, so this is the scaler I see. That was the word I was looking for. Can we try again? One, one more mic. I will finish this off. Yeah. Nah, it keeps getting stuck. Yeah. Anyway, um, so yeah, uh, this chip over here, uh, yeah, this doesn't work really well. It's too too transparent. So uh, this is the scaler I see uh, over here, um, and this basically this PCB uh, makes sure the the image is composed, sent to the monitor. Over there you have the backlights that I you showed go. you. <laughs> Sorry. Now the green oh, screen. Switch off the green screen. Yeah. yeah, that works as well. So um, yeah, there you have it. Uh, basically. Um, the back of the PCB, nothing to see. So maybe in the future I will also open up a gaming monitor to see how that looks and, and what we can find inside. Uh, more functions means also uh, or maybe a G-Sync monitor. Maybe yeah, that's interesting, that's cool. Mike. Yeah, sounds good. Should have some dedicated hardware from video inside. Yeah, there is uh, indeed a dedicated chip in those. Yeah. Indeed. For FreeSync, it's it's not a dedicated chip. That you, there's not a mod module like you have with G-Sync. So the technique's a little bit different. But yeah, with the G-Sync, you can definitely find a dedicated chip yeah. in there. Let us maybe talk a little bit about the specs and the pricing, Mike. Maybe you should switch on the yes. green screen again. Yeah, yeah, let me quickly enable that. There we are. Yeah, so uh, today we showed you the three monitors. Um, like always, we try to show you something more, so that's why we opened up uh, one. And now <laughs> I'm uh, here uh, with a lot of uh, uh, separate compartments. Can we ask Ruth? Yeah? Do you think so? <laughs> Weren't you going to put it back together? I can try. I can try. <laughs> Maybe Friday. <laughs> Who knows? Oh, some homework for the weekend. I'm sure I can play, put it back together. I don't think I damaged anything. If it still works is uh, another question. But <laughs> uh, next week, everybody will know. Uh, so uh, let's talk about uh, these, uh, uh, the monitors and the pricing. So these are the specs. Uh, you can find it on the MSI.com website. Uh, I have the MSIP pricing here. The 169.99, US dollar. Uh, sorry, uh, Euro is including 22% uh, VAT. I know VAT in Europe differs per country. Uh, I also uh, checked NEWAC. This is not really MSRP because it didn't have the US dollar MSRP, but I checked NEWAC in the US just to get a uh, pricing ID. And this uh, was a 159. Actually, they're running a promotion. It was 150, but I took the normal price, uh, 160 US dollar, uh, excluding VAT. And in the USA, each state is uh, adding their own uh, VAT. Um, then we have the uh, 24 uh, curved one, which is 20, uh, 129, one, let's say 130 euro. I don't know why sales always comes up with those magic price numbers. <laughs> and at uh, New Egg, I found this model for 135. So a bit strange. The first model, it was cheaper on New Egg in, in US dollar compared to Euro. This one is more expensive. Only way how I can uh, explain that is uh, it can be a different time of arrival. So exchange rate can be different. can also depending on sea or air shipment. Uh, air shipments are nowadays, not, not nowadays, they're always much more expensive. Uh, but yeah, if you're interested in these models, always check with your local reseller, uh, e-tailer for current pricing and uh, current availability. So, uh, and the same was for the, the 241X, the MP241X, which is the flat model. And this one uh, uh, currently MSRP in Europe, 119, 120. Oh my God, next time we, we skip the comma. <laughs> Here oh. at Notes, you can also see the difference between HDMI and DSOP. So with DSOP, you're limited to 1080p, yeah. 60 hertz. With HDMI, you can go up to 1080p, 75 hertz. So yeah. definitely Somebody, recommend uh, to use HDMI. Somebody saying price is VAT and not VAT, not correct? 
small. Uh, it's common to list the euro price uh, including VAT and the VAT is a bit different per country so also the price will be yeah, slightly we different per country. Yeah, just have an average uh, European yeah. price. Just to give you an indication, I mean, uh, the prices can always uh, differ a lot uh, per country, per uh, shop. So I really advise you to check with your local reseller for availability and for pricing if you're interested in that. Oh, we missed a comma, did we? Oh yeah, oh yeah. You, so, yeah, we are using commas uh, for, the, uh, for the last, how do you say that? Oh Instead yeah. Instead of the dot. Yeah. I, I know what you're talking about. Jess. You wrote and it the you Dutch way. Sorry? <laughs> you wrote it the Dutch way. <laughs> well, the, maybe the European price should be the comma and the US price should be I'm not dot. sure how the UK does this, but US for sure uses a dot. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. I'm sorry for that. Yes, you're right. Well, I mean, you can all, I'm sure if you pay this, you will get it as well. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but indeed, uh, thanks. Um, we didn't have a lot of questions today, Mike. Oh, we had some in the meanwhile. Yeah, maybe we can do a giveaway and then we um, say yep. everybody goodbye. Maybe you can already tell them something about next week. Hmm. Are you going to do the live stream next week or me? I think us together, right? Okay, again. Or, no, wait, it's Peter and you. <laughs> Peter is on holiday. Anyway, uh, next week we're no, going to... Next week. He'll be back in time, and I will be on a holiday on Wednesday. Okay. <laughs> so it will, be, it will be Peter. Yeah, so it will be Peter. Okay. So next week we're going to uh, talk about two gaming desktops, Meta 5 and Codex 5. And the case is more or less the same. However, the content is different. So we have uh, three models. I'm not sure if we're going to show you them all here in our studio. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to do the live stream. Maybe I'm just sitting where Mike is sitting behind the... Uh, what we call the streaming PC to push all the buttons. If I'm here, if I'm at this uh, seat, maybe I open something up. Uh, but uh, those two, actually those three models, it's uh, Intel, Nvidia, AMD, Nvidia, and we also have AMD, AMD model. So three different tastes, and we're going to check uh, what the differences are between the models, uh, price points, uh, features, etc. That's for next week. Mike, you have some winners? Uh, I have our. Ooh, one winner here. Berlinda. Is it? Is it yeah. Berlinda? Berlinda VDW. Yeah. So and congratulations. Uh, we will in the coming days we will send you by email uh, your prize. And then the next winner. We can do one more, right, Mike? Yeah, but the system is slow as fuck. As always. Maybe it's like watching. It's don't, a bit like our camera like today. That. Our, our close-up camera. This is stuck as well. And I'm watching a loading screen. Maybe we should do a reboot of this room. Too we many should, cables. We should do a reboot of Gleam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Still not working? No, it's, it's stuck. Hello, Gleam. <laughs> this side can't be reached. <laughs> Unlucky. Well, maybe some outage. <laughs> what if I take the, 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 the next code? Let me see. No, you cannot. <laughs> ah, it works again. At least we're back in the system, but hell. Um, the Let week after that, Mike, are you going to do a live stream or not yet? Uh, next week? No, next week we, we, we know about. And the yeah, week the week that, after oh. I'm, I'm still gone. Okay, so then uh, Peter is going to do a live stream uh, about uh, creator desktops. Uh, will be an interesting topic. And after that, I don't remember anymore. But, uh, you know, the next two months are uh, almost booked with topics. A lot of new product launches coming up. Most of you already know about, but... We have our next winner. Cool. Oh. <laughs> not, not cool. OMAC6, congratulations. You also won a Netflix gift card. OMAC? O-M-E-K-6. OMAC6, congrats. Yeah, so to all the winners, traveling ones, chicken dinner, Jonathan, Derek C, OMAC6, and Berlinda VDW. All check your email in the coming days, then we will uh, mail you the gift cards with some instructions on how yeah. to redeem them. Uh, thank you all for your time. We hope it's informative. Uh, I saw some people. We hope the monitor asking, still works. Sorry. <laughs> we hope the monitor still works. Uh, yeah, don't do this at home, really. <laughs> I mean, we do that here to that so that you don't have to do it. Uh, I hope also the people on LinkedIn uh, enjoyed it. Uh, uh, maybe it didn't stream. I saw some people reacting from LinkedIn, so it should work. 
Uh, also uh, MSI YouTube Global, we will check later if it worked and then maybe repeat it in the future. Thank you all for your time. That was it for this week. Hope to see you next week Wednesday. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.